But what of river dwellers like 75-year-old Jill Townsend, who lives alone on a converted coal barge? Her mooring fee will take up half her income, with council tax on top. I'm paying about £12 a week at the moment, and they want to put it up to about 70, 60 or 70. I ain't got it, you know. What would it mean to you if it went up that much, then? I'd have to leave the boat. I live here because I love it. It's as simple as that. The thought of going ashore is horrendous. The Port of London Authority say they've been negotiating for two years and have offered to phase in increases over five. But some boat owners question how those increases were calculated and how much they'll go up in the future. Phil Bales, London Tonight. Living the dream, an idyllic home on the Thames. It's a life many Londoners aspire to, especially in upmarket riverside towns where property prices have rocketed. But boat owners claim their idyll has been shattered by huge increases in mooring charges of up to 300%. Actress Susan Penhalligan lives afloat near Kew. She's been paying £1,200 a year to moor her boat here. She says she was told by the Port of London Authority she'd have to pay 6000 She's campaigning for a better deal for boat owners. I have such a strong sense of injustice. Um, and I, I'm doing this really for people who are, are, are on low incomes um, and pensioners and key workers, really. I mean, people who use boats as a low-cost low housing option. After appealing, Susan Penhalligan's fee was reduced to £2,000. She's still not happy. Neither are the owners of seven boats next door to her who've been told to pay 7500 between them. Historically, the Port of London fee was always small. Um, it was always a proportion like car taxes to your, your driving costs. It shouldn't be a major part of, of your outgoings if you live on a boat. Communities living on boats for hundreds of years on the River Thames, the Port of London Authority wants to change that forever, so only people that can afford outrageous fees, will be able to live on the river, and what will you get from the Port Authority if you pay those fees, absolutely nothing that is useful to either you or your boat, they have already infiltrated the council planning departments on the river, you try applying for permission for a houseboat and see where, it gets you. Please give your support where you can, we must come together to protect communities from corrupt, and incompetent, authorities, next time they might be coming for you, thanks for watching and remember, everyone has a right to use the, tidal waters of the Thames.